Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about dividing rational numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are examples wherein we will divide rational numbers. And for this, for this video, we will use the method keep, change, and flip. Actually, this video or this method ay ginamit ko na in dividing fractions kasi parehas lang naman sila dito. So let's start with number 1. In number 1, we have 1 half divided by 1 fourth. So how are we going to apply the keep, change, and flip in dividing these rational numbers? First, we will keep, meaning we will simply copy or keep the first fraction or the first rational number, which is 1 half. So we have 1 half. Next, change meaning change this operation of division to multiplication. Next, flip. We have here one-fourth. You will flip the position of your numerator and denominator, and it will go like this. And the flip of one-fourth is four over one. Or you're simply getting the reciprocal of the rational number. So what's next here? is that we will multiply the numbers. We have 1 times 4 over 2 times 1. So as you can see, we can cancel out 4 and 2. This will become 1, and this will become 2. So what we have is 1 times 2, which is equal to 2, over 1 times 1, that is 1. And simplifying 2 over 1, the answer is simply 2. And this is the answer for item number 1. Now let's continue with number 2. We are given here negative 5 over 6 divided by negative 3 over 2. So we will use keep, change, and flip. Keep. We have to copy 5 over 6. Change. Change the operation to multiplication. Flip. Get the reciprocal of it or interchange the position of your numerator and denominator. This is negative. 3, a uh, 2 over 3. Again, you will interchange the position of your numerator and denominator. So now, let's proceed to multiplication. Here, negative times negative is positive. Okay, so what we have is 5 times 2 over 6 times 3. So again, the very reason bakit na wala yung negative signs because Negative times negative is positive. Here, we have 5 times 2 ti over 6 times 3. Cancel out 2, it will become 1. Cancel out 6, it will become 3. And multiplying the remaining numbers in your numerator, 5 times 1 is equal to 5 over 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. Meaning, the answer in number 2 is simply 5 over 9. Okay guys? So let's continue with number 3. We are given here a whole number or without a denom denominator, we have negative 6 divided by 6 over a uh, 2 over 3. So we will simply express this first into a fraction or in from negative 6, it became negative 6 over 1. So that is negative 6 over 1. We will copy or keep. Change this one to multiplication again. From division, it became multiplication. And flip 2 over 3, and that is 3 over 2. So what's next here is to multiply negative 6 times 3 over 1 times 2. So we can cancel out 2 to become 1. We can cancel out negative 6, it will become negative 3. So what we have here is negative 3 times 3, that is negative 9, over 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. And simplifying negative 9 over 1, that is negative 9. And this is the answer for item number 3. So you hope guys you learned something from this video and I want to give you this example. 
for you to answer sa ating comment section. We have 2 over 3 times 1 fifth and tell me what is the answer here. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!